Coal mining has declined in South Wales catastrophically over the last 10 years uh, and that's reflected in the culture and the spirit of the people. So coming to Whitesburg I, I felt very at home, um, I felt very welcomed, the people understood what I was talking about, uh, you know we could get on very well, very friendly and welcoming. The music is absolutely, absolutely outstanding. And, and I have heard such amazing musicianship over the last, last two or three days. I mean, people should be so proud of their musicians and so proud of their heritage because it's something worth valuing and treasuring. Local businesses have been seeing the benefits of the festival drawing tourists into Whitesburg. A lot of our sponsors are local businesses, so you know they, they gave to this festival, but I think with all of the people coming in from out of town, and also just people even from, from town coming out and supporting all the local business, um, we've had a lot of uh, word from Heritage Kitchen and the Thirsty Heifer, they've had a lot of business with this influx of, of folks coming in um, and being busy around town. We're trying to bring people not just to the Apple Shop grounds, but to downtown Whitesburg. Folks who have been part of the festival for decades say they've seen it revitalized over the past few years. It's fluctuated over the years. Some years we've had great big crowds. Other years it's, uh, it's like you couldn't pay people to come. Uh, this year's uh, running about normal for the past several years. Pretty good sized crowd, especially for a hot day like today and yesterday was. And, uh, some of the same people have been coming as long as I've been working it and every year there's new people to meet, a bunch of young folks from all over come in and the Square Dates part of it really gets them involved. 